Hello guys if you want watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Kawhi at the two, put Ibaka at the four, Pascal at the three, and then obviously Gasol at five, and that has kind of limited the impact of the uh, rebounding from Philadelphia. Now it's up to the Sixers to make the adjustment because they have had no impact offensively on the glass. Toronto with a foul to give. Mike Scott picked up that foul. He has the ball right now. It's Embiid to Reddick with an earlier three. Another one launched and missed by JJ. It's picked up by Siakam. And you know you're defending well when all of Reddick's shots are off the dribble. That's exactly what you want if you're Toronto. And if I'm Brett Brown right now, maybe we try to get some post-up opportunities, force Toronto to double, and then we can attack on the weak side and put them in rotation. Philly shooting 22%. Raptors shooting 22%. Butler shifting, driving, scoring. It was a big time basket by Jimmy Buckets there. Boy, did they need that just to kind of give them a little bit of confidence at the end of the fourth. Little to go from Fred Van Vliet. Well, the team ahead after one quarter has won all six games in the series. The Raptors by five at the end of one on TNT. Conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs on TNT is presented by AT&T. I'm Roz Golden Wooday with 76ers head coach Brett Brown. Coach, game seven, a lot of pressure. What can help your team relax and seem more comfortable on offense? I mean, if we, the turnovers have hurt us. Some of it is, is on us. Some of it I give Toronto credit. When you look at the things that have hurt us, offensive rebounds, our turnovers, at least to their transition, um, that's where my mind is at more than, you know, anything at this stage. All right, that was moments ago. We start the second quarter. Here comes Butler. Got an Embiid screen. Takes it down low. Out to Reddick. Shot clock at four. Green is there. Double teamed Embiid off balance. Rebound to Baca. Abaka, Siakam, Lowry, Gasol, and inside Green, the Raptor five. Yeah, but you saw that last possession for Philly. Not a good look, and then Ibaka comes down and able to knock down that triple. Great job by Toronto of advancing the basketball. That's what allowed Ibaka to get that triple. That was Ibaka's first made three-point shot in this series. He was 0 of 9 until there. Butler outside, swinging it around, and it's on that baseline for the runner. Rebound to Saul. Five for him. Yeah, and then we talked about it with Simmons out of the lineup. How could they function in the half court? Because they're struggling to get anything easy is Philly and to get Lowry there with the turnover. You can see in, in game six, five, or four, that would have been a foul. But they're not making these calls in this game. They're going to force you to be strong physically and handle the adversity of a game seven. Dennis, Butler, Reddick. Along with Scott and Embiid, the five for the Sixers. And it's knocked it away. He has really played well. Saves it. Shot clock at nine. Embiid is one of eight. Gets all on him. Butler. Now the shot clock at three. Here comes Scott. He's got a five. Embiid taps it up and in. And the one thing from Joel in this game, he has to stop settling. Now, you got to pay your...